are directly affected by trade policy. In 1994, the national government signed a World Trade Organization deal which effectively made it illegal to introduce a local content quota on our screens. We gave unlimited market access to broadcasting suppliers from any signatory to the WTO. When the Clark government sought ways to support the production of local content, they couldn't because it was illegal. Most, if not all, Western countries have some kind of compulsory television quota, but not New Zealand because we signed that right away. How fair is that? And 20 years later, performers are still paying that price every day. It prevents our performers from building sustainable careers. It has kept our screen industry small and dependent on overseas productions coming here. It is a shocking situation. And the economics don't even make sense. We made it easier for overseas corporations to do business here, and by doing that, we killed the chance to have a thriving local screen industry. Does this sound familiar? This is exactly what could happen all over again with the TPPA. Only this time, it's not just performers. It's everyone. It's health, environment, education, treaty obligations. It goes on and on. We must stop the TPPA. Don't let, don't let what happened to performers happen to the rest to other sectors. These trade deals get locked in for decades, but we owe it to our kids to give them the freedom to determine, to determine their own future. Thank you. I want, I want our kids to grow up watching New Zealand content on their screens. I want our kids to grow up listening to New Zealand accents on their screens. I am appalled that we are potentially letting foreign corporations decide what we watch on our screens. I challenge the New Zealand government to, res to respect our culture. I challenge the New Zealand government to protect our culture. We must 